Hi friends, this is the first video of the series of Arduino training. In this series, we are going to learn what is Arduino, how to program it and how we can use it in our projects. I hope these videos gonna be useful and you will learn something from them. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel Canny Tech, do check it out as well, subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. Arduino is an open source electronic platform based on easy to use hardware and software. Arduino boards are microcontroller based circuit boards used for building electronic projects. Let's have a look at some Arduino board. Arduino Uno is the most popular Arduino board and this is the board we gonna use in this series. Arduino Uno has 14 digital I.O. pins. These pins can be set as input or output. The pin 0 and 1 are serial communication pins and used for program the Arduino. So mostly we don't use those pins. Some of these digital I.O. pins can be set as PWM output pins. Arduino Uno also has 6 analog pins. These are analog to digital converter pins. We can apply 0 to 5 volt analog signal to these pins. These are the power pins of Arduino Uno. It has a V in pin. We can apply 7 to 9 volts to this pin to power the Arduino. We can also power the Arduino from DC adapter or USB port. Next two pins are ground pins. And the next two pins are 5 volt and 3.3 volt pins. These pins can give 5 volt and 3.3 volt supply to the devices connected with Arduino. Now let's have a look at Arduino software. This is the Arduino software. It is also known as Arduino IDE, which stands for Arduino Integrated Development Environment. When you open Arduino IDE, you will see two functions, void setup and void loop. The code in the setup function will be run once and the code in the loop function will be run again and again in a loop. That's why it is called loop function. Now let's make our first basic project using Arduino which is a blinking LED. First connect 5 volt pin of Arduino to positive supply rail of breadboard. Now connect ground pin of Arduino to negative supply rail of breadboard. Now connect the LED and connect its positive pin to pin D13 of Arduino. Now connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to negative pin of LED and its other pin to negative supply rail of breadboard. Now connect the USB cable to Arduino and your computer. Now open the Arduino IDE and click on tools then go to board options and select Arduino Uno. Now again click on tools and go to port and select the port with Arduino Uno. Now click on file and click on example. Then go to basic and select blink. Now click on upload button and that's it. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have learned something from this video. More videos are coming soon. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.